Tonight, new information about the young shooter accused of trying to murder Volusia County deputies. At just 14, the girl who were not identifying had more than 30 prior run-ins with the law. Documents released by the sheriff's office show she allegedly stole, destroyed property, kicked, attacked, and pulled a knife on various victims. Put the gun down now! Two months before this shootout, Sheriff Michael Chitwood says the girl set multiple fires. But instead of being held accountable, she was released, eventually ending up in an unsecured group home. What the hell is the Department of Juvenile Justice doing sending these kids to places that can't handle them? You really need to be exposing the Department of Juvenile Justice. Josefina Tamayo is the acting secretary of the Florida Department of Juvenile Justice. Why was this violent juvenile sent to a church program? We emailed her and called DJJ about the sheriff's claims. She didn't respond, but her spokeswoman, Amanda Slama, did, telling me she couldn't get into specifics, but she claimed DJJ did not make this decision. Sheriff Chitwood responding online, writing, DJJ had, quote, chosen to lie instead of tell us the truth. The sheriff says after setting the fires, the girl, quote, never saw a judge because DJJ determined her crimes weren't serious enough. And according to the sheriff, this isn't an isolated case. He's now calling on the DJJ to accept the fact there's a crisis within the system that should not be covered up. And deputies say they were under fire for 35 minutes. When the girl pointed a shotgun at them, they say that is when they were forced to shoot her. Right now, she's stable, she's recovering, but Stacy, she was badly injured.